Okay, so hello everyone, I'm M9 Aza from MTSP Robotic 1 and I'll give you a presentation about Rescue for Step U19. My name is M9 Aza and I'm from Indonesia and I'm 13 years old and my school is at MTSP Situarjo is Java and my team name is MTSP Robotic 1. Mm, this is these are my previous competition and these are my certificates from RCAP and this executive summary of preliminary challenge. I follow rescue first step United category and what is the challenge? The challenge is called like a smart point a scan with collecting objects and deposit it to the deposit area. The mini tasks are collecting points by collecting objects, avoid traps, avoid crash with walls, and make walls be an advantage to us, and deposit. How to finish the challenge and what are my strategies? First, collect object. I use our TV sensor and collect object key action and also LED1. To detect the detect and take the objects. Each color and each objects has each RGB points. The objects are black, cyan, and red. You can see the RGB points there. And my strategies is at, at sorry at the first three minutes, I collect two objects each, two reds to blacks and to science to get RRGGBB. Why? Because RGBB because and we deposit it to the deposit area, we get plus 180 points. And for the last two minutes, I just program it randomly. And each object has each points. Red is 10, black is 20, and cyan is 15. But if this in this blue area like this the point will be double black will be 40 red will be 20 and cyan will be 30. second avoid traps the trap is a blue area right here and around the trap there is a yellow border and what's the function the function is we detect it with this RG points and turn it to left or right or back it's okay to avoid the traps because if the robot get into the trap the we or I will or you will lose the objects and lose the points. So maybe you get 90 points from collecting 6 objects, you will lose 6 objects and 90 points. 3. Avoid walls. I use ultrasonic sensor to detect the wall that turn it. And basically, ultrasonic sensor is how much the distance our robot to the wall. There are 3 ultrasonic sensors, front, left, right. At the distance from the wall, the nearest the front, you can up to you turn it to left or right. But if the distance from the wall, the nearest is at left, you must turn it to right. Opposite from that, if the distance from the wall, the nearest is at right, you must turn it to left. But you can also manage the turn by the wall that isn't the border's wall. And you program it in another program with position. What is position? The map has two kind of position. X and Y. X is the horizontal position and Y is the vertical position that divide to 9. From this, this, this side, the X is 0. And this side, the X is 2. So that means this row in the middle the x is 1 and from below the y is 0 in the middle the y is 1 and here the top the y is 2 
application. I use the wall different program to make the deposit easier. The example is like right 1,2. So if the wall is on right with distance 12 in position x1 and y2, and the robot will turn right with this speed, and the program will only run and use in position x1 and y2. Lastly, deposit. I also use RTV sensor to take the deposit area, the deposit points or the RGB points on the deposit. You can see it here, you can see there, and I use deposit one or two key action. What's the different for deposit one? After deposit, your robot will be turned back, and for deposit two, your robot after deposit will be straight front. What's the function? The function is for the robot stop for 4 seconds and also LED2. And I use more programs that I mentioned before to make go to the deposit area easier. And the example of the program is like front 2.0 and others. And you can manage when you deposit like how many objects have you take. So you will only deposit when the objects already collect 3. So if the object only collect two, the robot will not deposit. Applying knowledge gain to the real world. As the name rescue robot is for rescuing or helping rescue process. And over there, the, that is the example of rescue robot. And from this competition, I learned about RGB and ultrasonic sensors and we can apply it to the real robot and I learned simple robots coding concept and it will very very help me when I build will build a real robot sometime. And this is my gameplay. I will explain you on the demonstration maybe with my strategies. First is the RRGGPP concept. So for this one I use the deposit um, setting is like when you six or full only can deposit so it's five so when the flat object is five no deposit yeah you know my RGBB must be six okay let's see so before it get too red the black will not collect and if the red already too the robot will not collect the red again but that, that's the concept of rrgbb the concept of rrgbb in the real world is like when you um rescuing someone or rescuing process maybe like five hours and then the three hours you can pick the people that you want to save, but the two hours left, you can only random pick or random rescue the people like that. So for for your information, I am not using three minutes for this RGGPP, but three minutes and fifteen seconds to the RGGPP program. Then make it random. And I'll tell you the difficulties. The difficulties uh, at this pro at this program or at this game is when you already go around the map, you not take uh, two objects. That means only one object, or you take any objects. It is the worst thing. Like it will be stressful if you get that kind of condition. Oh, by the way, in this wall, I I use a spatial program. So when the when in this area, in this area, that means uh, one comma two, I detect front and right, like I showed before. Right, one comma two, I will turn right uh, yeah turn right i'll turn right so the robot will go to the deposit easier
I'll I'll show you about the trap later. Okay, like this, you already go around the map many times, but you cannot detect one cyan. So that's usually stressful, but yeah, just calm. Don't be panicked. Like this. I detect the yellow to not get into the trap and make it turn. I'm very lucky here because I got RSTB again. But the time is a little bit late, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. If you want to uh, detect collect objects or deposit you must add the duration the duration is i don't know what the, uh what number is it but the second is four seconds yeah and for the yellow you can use duration five uh, i don't really uh, remember what's what is the second but if you program in there you get five so you will use five that's my recommendation. Oh, or maybe you're more in difficult again when you want to deposit the object already full. Nah, you you not get to the deposit when you turn 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 around the map. That's stressful and not and wasting time. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain the random, not like that. After red, black, red again. So yeah, not like the RGBB, that's the random that I mean. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. I get 1,110 points for this program. That's not a high or very high point, but that's an enough point. And thank you for listening. Hope you understand about it. Bye bye guys. See you again on the next competition. Don't forget to stay safe, healthy and happy. Bye.